So now let's take a few minutes to look closer at the SimCube NIBP simulator from Pronk Technologies. The SimCube concept was to design a much smaller, rugged, easy to use NIBP simulator for the biomedical and clinical engineering market. The SimCube, in fact, was designed into an eighth inch extruded aluminum enclosure so that the SimCube would withstand the hospital environment as well as withstand the 50 drops that we do on all of our products onto a hard surface without failing. The SimCube's got a complete set of NIBP features for testing any vital signs monitor in the hospital, including four dynamic NIBP simulations, a built-in digital manometer, as well as a leak test and overpressure test mode. The SimCube also has static and dynamic invasive pressures and has some limited ECG and respiration simulations as well. Now let's spend a little time focusing on the mechanism that was designed into the SimCube that allowed us to make the world's smallest NIBP tester on the market. So the reason that Prog Technologies was able to design such a small NIBP tester was because the president and chief engineer of Prog Technologies had for many years designed vital signs monitors and in fact holds a patent on an NIBP algorithm as well as hardware design and he had always believed that you could make NIBP simulations work very well by using a stepper motor with a cam, a slide, and a pneumatics tube and basically control the turn of the stepper motor and cam such that the slide would come down and pulse the pneumatics tube in such a way that you could create a very physiological NIBP pulse envelope for the monitor to measure. So let's go ahead and start an NIBP reading and I'll show you how this mechanism works. If we watch here, right now the NIBP monitor is inflating the cuff and the SimCube is responding to the changing cuff pressure. As that pressure rises, you'll see that these pulses going across the pneumatics tube are very small because the cuff pressure is higher than the systolic pressure. As that cuff pressure decreases, you can see that we're actually varying these pulse shapes and sizes depending on where that cuff pressure is, thereby simulating a systolic, mean, and diastolic pulse shape and size. So now that we've looked at the mechanism that drives the SimCube, let's take a quick look at the operation of the SimCube. The SimCube has a single mode button that allows you to select from dozens of different simulations across non-invasive blood pressure, invasive pressure, ECG and respiration. And to select those different simulations, you just press this mode button and you get different LEDs to light up on the front of the SimCube telling you what simulation you're getting at that time. The SimCube right now is attached to what we call a T adapter that allows you to connect the cuff and the hose from the monitor to the SimCube for simulations of non-invasive blood pressure. The SimCube does not require you to wrap the cuff around cylinders or mandrels or any canisters to get the shape and size of an arm. We actually patented what we call the cuff jacket which allows you to slide a cuff easily into the cuff jacket to control the cuff volume during NIBP simulations. So the SimCube will operate on either battery power or AC, comes with a four-year parts and labor warranty, and there are over 4,000 SimCubes in the field today. Now that we've covered the SimCube, let's spend a few minutes talking about the Oxim SPO2 simulator. <laughs> 